G'day humans, Chris Stead here. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at the new Gemini AI features that are gonna appear across the latest range of Pixel phones. I've got two of them here. I've got the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and just the Pixel 9 as well, but you've also gonna got, got the Pixel 9 Pro and also the Pixel 9 Fold which are coming to the market here in Australia. Now, I was at a presentation that Google put together in Sydney, Australia, where they talked through a lot of the features, and you're gonna see a lot of content going live on the channel in the coming days around the various things that were announced and some comparisons between the current crop, the old crop, just to give you an idea of what might be right for you. But there were some interesting bits in that conference that I thought would stand alone well as just a video for people who are looking for more insights, in particular, when they went through what they're doing with their AI in this generation. So it's Gemini's, Gemini's their AI. It was referred to as Gemini Nano in the eight era. With the nine era, they're kind of stepping it up with this Gemini Live and Gemini Enhanced features. So I'm gonna show you part of that presentation so you can just stay a little bit educated at least on what Google's thoughts are on what this Gemini chip is going to do for the phone user experience. Let's dive in and take a look. Now, the fun part, let's talk about the chip that makes all of this possible. Um, so all of those phones that you've seen come today with a brand new chip uh, that we're introducing, Google's Tensor G4. Um, this is our most powerful, most efficient chip ever. Um, it was custom developed hand in hand with Google's DeepMind team, uh, which really means it's at the cutting edge of AI capability. Um, last year, we introduced the first phone that had Gemini Nano uh, with the Pixel 8, and this year with G4, we're introducing the first phone with Gemini Nano and multimodality. What multimodality means is your phone is not just understanding text and prompts, it's able to take in imagery, audio, speech, um, and kind of provide a level of helpfulness there that has never been possible before on a mobile device. Um, this is the first time that we're bringing these highly capable multimodal models and able to run them on a, on a sort of mobile form factor, uh, and that's down to, down to this chip. Uh, beyond AI use cases that we will talk about, um, just baseline performance, you're seeing better uh, web browsing speeds, you're seeing 17% faster app launch speeds, and again, battery life improvements uh, through the efficiency uh, of the silicon. All right. At I.O., uh, for those of you who covered that, we spoke about how we were sort of in this once-in-a-generation moment to change uh, how people think about what a phone can do. Um, we're reimagining Android as, as sort of having AI at its core. And in order to facilitate that, obviously the devices need to be incredibly capable and powerful, running AI workloads smoothly across the experience. Um, that's why G4 has been developed with industry-leading token rates. Um, it's able to process some of those heavy AI workloads uh, in, in, in ways that are you know, really staggering uh, across performance, across efficiency. Um, this has only been made possible because of uh, being able to work hand-in-hand -hand with DeepMind. So you sort of can imagine uh, the, the silicon and the AI workloads uh, really optimized for each other. Um, beyond processing speed, uh, this is also what has allowed us to provide that multimodality experience, which is a significant jump in sort of computational complexity. Uh, we're also providing a, a RAM carve-out specific for AI. So that bump that we talked about in RAM, some of that is being used towards uh, ensuring that Gemini and AI workloads are running smoothly, consistently across the experience. Uh, Pixel 9 is actually the first uh, device that's taking that approach. Um, what makes Gemini special, I think, is how we ensure your personal information is protected. So unlike some other products, uh, with Gemini, your data is being processed end-to-end -end within Google's ecosystem. You're not sending your personal data to a third-party service that you may not know or trust. Um, across the board, whether it is at the edge, so you know, the, the AI chip that's running on your device, through to the cloud and the powerful processing available uh, through Google's infrastructure, you are working within um, a, a single, uh, single brand. Uh, what that means is we're able to be really deliberate about where do we optimize for performance, where do we optimize for privacy, where do we op optimize for capability and helpfulness. Um, and you'll see that come to life in a few of the features that we'll jump into. All right. Um, this year, Pixel 9 comes with Gemini built in uh, throughout the experience and as the default assistant. Um, so with your permission, what that means is 
uh, Gemini is able to look at things like your inbox, your calendar, appointments, to-do lists, and it's able to combine that information and provide a set of uh, helpful experiences that, again, have never been possible before on a mobile device. Um, I heard an interesting story just yesterday uh, about a colleague who had asked Gemini, please go find my resume from Drive from 2024 and write a short personal statement for a health team I want to apply to. And in a few seconds, Gemini was able to pull that information together and give him a really helpful starting point. Um, that is a level of complexity and sophistication where we're moving from assistants that are agents and sort of answering questions in terms of set a timer, what's the weather, we're moving towards true intelligence where this tool is able to help you get those jobs done end to end more quickly. Um, and in this case, uh, the, the, uh, the colleague was very impressed with, with the result. Gemini is also uh, upgraded to those multimodal models. So uh, again, reinforcing this idea of moving from just a text input output uh, to being uh, an experience that can bring in more context from the world around you. Uh, an example I love here is if you're walking along and you see a poster for a show that you want to go to, you can snap a picture of, this, of the poster, you can ask Gemini to check whether you're available that night, you can even ask Gemini to put a text together to invite your friends uh, and maybe a cute image to get people pumped up, and all of that can be done end-to-end -end in a flash with this true Gemini assistant. Another point on Gemini, we're improving how Gemini communicates with you. So as people, we like to talk through problems, we like to have conversations, that's how we learn. Um, and that's why I'm genuinely excited about how Gemini Live uh, changes the interface. You're able to have a free-flowing conversation with your assistant. Um, I was using this the other day, we were thinking about landscaping our yard, and we're sitting there in the space being able to look around and ask, what kinds of plants grow well in this environment? And if we don't like that color, what else could we choose? For a length of fence this long, how many plants do I need? And how much money does that cost? Um, at the end of that conversation, because it felt so natural, I was off to Bunnings. Like, this is a DIY project ready to go. And again, I think being able to do that in a way that's free-flowing, it's seamless, um, it really does feel like you have an assistant there helping you along the way. Um, Gemini Live is transformative. I think as you get to experience this, this product, um, it, it changes the game in terms of how uh, you experience AI. Uh, Gemini Live, in terms of how that's coming to market, um, we are uh, making it available first to Gemini Advanced uh, subscribers. Uh, and then to make sure that all of our nine uh, pro device purchases are able to really get that experience, um, that subscription will be bundled in with your purchase for the first 12 months. Um, so you're getting 12 months of Gemini Advanced uh, with the pro devices. All right, new features. Uh, lots going on here, so we'll fly through. Um, the only assistant that we just talked about and some of the changes there, uh, there are a number of apps that are really taking advantage of the integration between software and hardware. Uh, starting with uh, a first um, all new Pixel exclusive, so this is Pixel Screenshots. Um, what it helps you do is sort of remember and organize information that you might uh, need to sort of stow away in a memory bank uh, and then recall it really easily. So what we noticed is people take screenshots of things they want to remember. So think door codes when you're on holiday, Wi-Fi passwords, addresses. What we found is people are already doing this behavior. If you take a quick screenshot to go and look it up later, what Pixel Screenshots is able to do is apply Gemini to organize that information, and then you can simply ask Gemini, hey, what was the pin code for that apartment from Jared? And it'll be able to pull that information right up, the screenshot, the context, um, and give you a quick answer. Uh, Pixel Screenshots runs on device, so from a privacy perspective, thanks to that multimodality. Again, we're, we're taking in images, we're taking in speech, we're taking in text input, um, and it's able to do that all without that information leaving your device. Um, okay, here we go, Pixel Studio. Um, so Pixel Studio is, is a really fun tool. Um, I hope you guys will spend some time playing with this. Um, this is how we're using our first of its kind image generator on the Pixel 9. Uh, Pixel Studio, you can think of as sort of a creativity canvas powered by AI. Um, it helps you create new images with a simple prompt. Uh, you can also then edit, change the subject, reorganize, layer on text. Um, once the image is generated, you can also even, uh, change the style. So you can change from 
photorealistic to cartoon styles um, and much more. Uh, I can tell you, or at least the people in my group chats can tell you, uh, my meme game has improved considerably as a result of this tool. Um, and it is, it is just a, a whole bunch of fun to play with, so I uh, encourage you to, to get to know Pixel Studio. Um, behind the scenes here, uh, this is using our Imogen 3 uh, uh, AI models, um, so that's running on the cloud, and some diffusion models on the device for when you're making quick edits. Um, so the experience is really quick, it's real time, um, and a lot of fun. There you go, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, make sure you keep an eye on the channel because there's heaps of content going up around the Pixel range that has just been announced and released here in Australia. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris Dead. Until next time, I'll check you later. You.